It's another beautiful day here in Wildwood. The birds are a-chirping, the bees are buzzing, and the sky's so clear you can almost hear the sun shining. And if you stand real still and listen, you can hear something else. Whoa, did you hear that? It's close. Some sort of animal. A strange animal. An injured animal. <laughs> A hungry animal. It's my stomach. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure, Ned. Maybe you have strange animals in there. No. The only strange animals are out here, and I'm looking at them. Maybe there's dinosaurs in there and they're hungry. I should have brought a sandwich. I'm told me I'd get hungry. No, no. You need a giant pickle. Doesn't a giant pickle sound really good right about now? Dinosaurs love pickles. Dinosaurs do not like pickles. Oh, no? Uh, what about a bologna and banana burrito with horseradish sauce? Oh, yum. Oh, yuck. And they didn't even have bologna and horseradish back in dinosaur times anyway. What about honey? Yeah, I, I guess they had honey, but I don't think dinosaurs would even... Forget the dinosaurs. There are no dinosaurs. But your stomach... Stop it. See that deer? Why is he licking a tree? Yeah! <laughs> That's nuts. Now, chewing a tree, that makes sense. Come on. Oh, you hear that? That, my friends, is the sound of lunch. Isn't that the sound of bees? Yeah, sounds like the sound of painful stings to me. Not for a bear who knows everything there is about bees and honey. Watch and learn. Do you see those bees staring at us? Oh, they're definitely staring. Do they make honey out of weasels? They make honey out of pollen, not Weasels. Oh, that's what they'd like you to think. Mm, mm. Oh, man, this is unbelievable. This is the best honey I've ever tasted. You've got to try it. I don't care how good the honey is. I'm not sucking it from your fur. Oh, this is bad. Very bad. What now, Goose? I'm sweet. Very sweet. My mom and dad are always telling me how sweet I am. Those bees want me. Don't worry, they're not interested in nuts. We gotta take some of this home. People will pay money for honey like this. No way, I'm not going near it. Relax, Goose. Look at me, calm, cool, and collected. It's all about self-control. You gotta help me go back to the fort and get the wagon. The wagon would be for... The hive. I'm taking it back to the fort, and we can put the honey into jars and sell it. Oh, no. Now, you wait just a minute, CJ. You're not bringing a bunch of bees back to our fort, CJ. No way. But... Th no, sir. No how. No bees. The club members will definitely vote that one down. Just ask Ned. Okay, then. We'll take it to my house. More honey for me. Sorry, CJ. If those bees find out how sweet I am, I'm done for. Okay, I'll just have Stacy help me then. This better be good, CJ. I still have homework to do. It is, and you're in for a sweet surprise. Hey, hey, wait a minute. What's wrong? That deer, he's back. And he brought some friends to my tree stump. That's what we're getting? A tree stump? It's got the best honey you've ever tasted, but those deers are stealing it. How can they be stealing it, CJ? It's not your tree stump. Well, it's not fair if they eat it all and I can't share it with everybody else. You're going to share it with everybody? Well, yeah, for a small price. You're going to charge people for something that doesn't belong to you? Did you miss the class about sharing? Just wait till you taste it. You'll see. Finally, they're leaving. Come on, Stacy. Start digging around the bottom. It's all rotten. Here, I'll hold it. Can I have a taste first? No. Work now. Taste later. Hey, 
You sure you got it? Oh. Ah, sure I got it. Keep digging. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hey, I thought you had it. It's heavier than I thought. Let's get it on the wagon. Uh, 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 I'm filthy. You owe me. No problem. You can have the honey that's all over you. My treat. That's your idea of sharing? How much more free honey do you want? The bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain, the bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. And all that he could see, ha ha, and all that he could see, ho ho, was honey and the money, honey and the money, honey and the money. And it was all for me, and it was all for me, and it was all for me, and it was all for me. You're up early this morning. The early bear gets the money, honey. Does the early weasel get a taste? Sure thing. That'll be one dollar. One dollar? Nobody's gonna pay that much. Oh, no. They will for CJ's galaxy's best honey. This honey's from space? <sighs> no, silly. He's just saying that it's the best in the galaxy. Can I try the honey from Mars? No, no. from Jupiter. No. Oh, oh, from Saturn. Wait. Oh, I'll bet it's great from Neptune. Don't worry, Goose. You can have some of mine. I won't even charge you for it. That's still a dollar, Stacy. What? I helped you carry the hive here. You dropped it on me. Sorry. You got yours yesterday and licked it all off. Well, I don't want it. And no one else is going to pay for it either. We'll see. I'm going out to set up my honey stand. In an hour, they'll be lined up around the block. But we're supposed to be meeting at the club. Remember we're planning a picnic for the old folks at Shady Acres? You guys go ahead. I'll catch up later. Honey, get CJ's Galaxy's best honey. Just one lick and you'll be sticked. One dollar? That's a lot for a jar of honey. But this is CJ's Galaxy's best. It's the best tasting honey you'll ever try. Want a free taste? What are you doing? He said you want to eat paste. No, it's a free taste. It's your waste. It's honey. I know it's too much money. Just taste it. Now, why would I want to waste? It. it smells like good honey. Mm. Well, what are you waiting for? It's delicious. Pay the man. Yes, dear. It's great. What are we late for? Why can't you speak up? No, I said it's good. The honey. Why is that funny? I hate being late. just sold the last jar, but I can take your order for tomorrow. Oh, hi, Mom. Hello, CJ. Looks like you've been busy as a bee. Oh, Mom, this is great. I've already got a list of customers ready to buy my next batch. Customers? My, it sounds like you've got yourself a nice little business. Little? Not for long. Soon I'm going to build a gigantic, big-as-a-mountain honey factory and raise bigger bees and build pipes that pump the honey straight into town and... Slow down, CJ. One step at a time. But I've already made lots of money. See? If I do this every day, soon I can build a fleet of honey ships to sail across the sea to China. It's meant to be fun, sweetheart. It is. Now, how do I get the bees to grow bigger? Feed them broccoli? Give them protein shakes? Find bird bees? Oh, dear. Maybe you should take a break. Oh, oh no, no. Can't do that. Got more jars to fill. He's gone nuts. All he thinks about now is honey and money. Yeah. I wonder how we can get into the action. No, no, no. We don't want in on the action. The action is greed. CJ's supposed to be here helping us get ready for the picnic at Shady Acres. 
You're right. So why don't we make some banana bologna burritos and set up our own stand at the Shady Acres picnic? We'd make a fortune. Ah! CJ, you missed the club meeting. Sorry, I've got work to do. How about a game of kick the can? And I can tell you about the plans for the picnic on the way. While you are playing games, I'm planning on making another 20 bucks. Want me to help? We could get it done faster. It would be fun. No thanks. It's my hive and my money. You probably want free honey again. Free honey? You dropped the hive on me. Did I drop it on you, or did you pull it onto yourself? What? You're not just greedy. You're crazy greedy. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but honey will make me rich. Why are you guys following me? Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, we were super sneaky. No way you saw us. We plan on doing some selling, too. We just wanted to find a good spot to set up. You can't have any of my honey. We don't want it. I'm sweet enough already, and we got something better. Behold! The Ged Bark Brush. The Ged Bark Brush? Yes, the Ged. It's Goose and Ned put together. <laughs> Pretty catchy, huh? After people rot their teeth with your honey, they'll come begging to buy our authentic tree bark toothbrush. I see. And who besides beavers want to chew on bark? And who's going to pay for it when it does literally grow on trees? You're just worried about the competition. You'll see. Besides, your honey jars aren't even full. It's called big business, baby bee. Baby bee? I can sell more jars with less honey. You're charging a dollar for a jar that isn't even full? Not only that, I'm seeing how I can water it down. Plus, check these out. Honey body lotion and honey shampoo. Don't ever taste it so sweet. Watering it down? Body lotion? Shampoo? You've lost it, CJ. It's just good business, Ned. Bark salesmen wouldn't understand. Come on, Goose. Let's get out of here. Wait, you think that shampoo would be good for me? Hello, Miss Gristle. In the mood for something sweet? The word around town is that this honey is superb. It better be for this price. I'll take one jar. Just one jar? Don't cheat yourself. One jar will do, Mr. Brown. Yes, Miss Grizzle. Some folks can be so rude. She'll be sorry when the price goes up. Excuse me, son. Could you spare a jar? There used to be honey in the forest, but now we can't find it. Oh, well, you can't just expect it to grow on trees. <laughs> I can't pay you now, but... Sorry, no money, no honey. It's not for me. I've got a wife and fawn. I'd love to help, but I got lots of folks been waiting a long time. It wouldn't be fair to them or me. Sorry to bother you. You back for more, Mr. Mosey? If you can handle it, I'll buy 50 jars. 50? Whoa. I'll take them and sell them on the train for a dollar and a half. Can you do it? Sure I can. But the price is now a dollar twenty-five. CJ. Okay, okay. I'll get it to you tomorrow afternoon. You know where to find me. Fifty jars to one customer. It started. Next, I'll need to hire some kids to fill the jars. I'll need a delivery team. I'll need an office with a sign that reads "Boss Man." Ah, this is gonna be great. Back so soon, CJ? What can I do for you? More jars. I need more jars. You must be doing better business than anyone in town. Yeah, well, with a good product and hard work, anything is possible. You're an inspiration to us all. How many jars this time? Fifty. Five oh? Fifty? Can you handle it? Uh, sorry, CJ. I can give you forty-five now and order more. What? How'd you let this happen? Stacy came in earlier and I gave her ten. Usually, we don't need so many. How am I supposed to run my business if you keep giving my jars away for free? Shouldn't you be out playing baseball or something? What? Go be a kid, CJ. I'm way past that. Hey, watch where you're going. Whoa, good thing my jars didn't break. Your jars? What about my head? Especially since I'm short because you've been stealing jars behind my back. What are you talking about? 
I know all about you and your secret deal with Mr. Crawford. Secret deal? You were the one who asked Mr. Crawford for those jars when we said we'd do the picnic. Oh, yeah. That was before I knew the value of money. So young, so foolish. I'll agree with the foolish part. Help me carry these to my house. You want a mere child to help you with your business? That's no way to ask. Come on, Stacy. I'm in a hurry. Mr. Mosley wants to buy 50 jars of honey. 50! Do you have that much honey? Of course. It's the jars I'm short on. I'm sure the picnic needs them. Can you hear yourself? Yeah, I sound like a cash register. Cha-ching! Cha-ching! It's all about you and money. What about the club and your friends? When I get this order filled, I'll schedule something in. Hey, maybe you could be my secretary. What? To help schedule time to see you and Ned and Goose. Plus, it's about time I got some staff. You're kidding. Nope. And I'll let you call me boss man, too. Wouldn't that be great? How about I call you Greedy Greetster instead? I'm out of here. Greedy Greetster? <laughs> boss man sounds way better. Oh, come on, you lazy bees. Where's all the honey? I know what's in here. I need 50 jars. Get going. Thought you were worker bees. Ever hear of busy like a bee? This is your boss man telling you to get with it. And get with it now. Come on in. CJ is bonkers. you got to do something. He's changed. All he thinks about is money. I've heard. The problem is how to get a fella to change his mind about something when he doesn't want to change. He needs to see there are more important things in life than money, like friends, family, and God. Money can't bring the sort of happiness those things can. I know that, but when's CJ gonna see it? He will. Trust me. You just gotta keep being there to help him along. Sure, I can do that. I guess. Hey guys, come quick! CJ just got stung by about a cabillion bees! Bees can't hurt a bear. That's just what CJ was yelling while they were stinging him! CJ, you've got company. Hi, CJ. What happened? I needed to get 50 jars of honey and it wasn't coming out. I started to dig further and further into the hive. But it's okay, because he knows all about bees. I'll ignore that. Anyways, the bees got mad. I thought it would make them work harder. It didn't. You'll be up in no time. Ouch. Hey, not all of me looks fine. I guess if enough bees are mad enough and all sting in the same spot, even a grizzly can get hurt. Wow, we never sold one get, but at least they never stung us. <laughs> it would be inappropriate to laugh now, huh? Very. <laughs> then I gotta step outside. <laughs> Take good care of your behind, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, outside. Get some rest, pal. I'll see you in the morning. Oh, great. Look, let's make a rule. No jokes about bees or pants. Or bees in pants. <laughs> none. All right. I guess it's none of our beesness. <laughs> <laughs> a little sympathy here. <laughs> Sorry. But you know, you kind of deserve it. Yeah, I know. Papa Chuck said you'd figure it out and that I should be here for you when you did. The Bible says, for what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Thanks. Those bees made me stop and see what I'd become and who I was hurting. I've got the last two jars of honey back home for the Shady Acres picnic. They'll love it. Really? What sort of discount this time? Free. I feel badly for not helping earlier. And I need to find that dear family. Have you seen them? Uh, I think they're around the train depot. But if we can just get to Frontera, I can get the money. That's the problem. I can't just give train tickets away. I get fired. My husband needs to be at his new job on Monday or he might lose it. Can you take a chance on us? We need a miracle. I want to help, but... Uh, excuse me, I'd like to help. I'm sorry I was so rude yesterday. I was being... Kind of greedy and selfish? I like to do this by myself, thank you. Sorry. I was being greedy and selfish. I like to buy your tickets if I can. That would be almost $30. You have that much? Yes, I do. I made a lot of money from that honey. I'll pay you back. You don't have to do that. That honey wasn't really mine to sell anyway. Thank you, son. 
You've done a wonderful thing. The first in about a week. Have a good trip. Sweet cup. Yes, he is. <laughs>